Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Player Kits plugin. This is a fantastic plugin which allows you to easily create kits in game with a GUI. So, first of all, we are going to look at the commands. So, if we do forward slash kit help, that's going to show us all of the commands we can use. But first of all, we want to create our own kit. So, I'm just going to grab some random items. Let's just grab some coal. And what we need to do is forward slash kit create and then call it something. Let's call it kit coal. Now that we've created the kit, we can actually edit it by doing forward slash kit edit and then cull. This will open the GUI and there's loads of things in here we can change. So we can change the slot of the main kit GUI. So let's go ahead and put it in a random slot. Obviously you want to make sure you don't overlap certain kits with each other. So make sure the slot is actually empty. I'm going to just pick a random number. Let's go with 19 for example. Then do you want to give the kit when you first join the server? Yes or no? Then we can set a cooldown in seconds. So by default, it's 3,600, but let's set it at 100 seconds. There we go. Do you want it to be one time only, or do you want players to be able to get it multiple times? Then we can change the permission. So currently it's none, but you can just write a random permission here, such as kit.cold.use. And then if you've done that, you can set a no permission item. So if people don't have permission, they can see whatever item you set here. Uh, so just change the iron sword and that will set it. Then we can set the price. So how much do you want it to cost? So you can either change it from none to maybe $1,000. Once we've done this, we can change a few other things. So if you want to change the kit items, you come in here, you can replace them or add more. We can also add commands associated with the kit. So click the green emerald and you can type a command in here. Make sure you don't put a forward slash. And if you want to use the player variable, make sure you put percentage player percentage. So I'm going to just write a random command here, which will be uh, performed along with getting the kit. Then if we go back and go into the set display item, there's a few things in here. So we can change the item by changing the sword, change the name, change the law. So by default, we've got these two law pieces in here. So we can add another one if we want. So use color codes to make it look nice and fancy. I'm just going to write what the cooldown is to help players know how often they can get it. So cooldown 100 seconds. There we go. And as you can see, it's been added. And let's go ahead and add one more, just uh, see what it looks like. Let's do some coal in gold. Once we've done that, we can set the display items to so just pop some coal between the two wood blocks. And there we go, we are done. So if we do full slash kit, we can see that this is the kit GUI. We've got our coal kit here. We've got our law we set, the title, and the display item. Now, if we click it, it won't give it to us because I don't have any money. So if we do full slash eco give, and then just I'm going to give myself $1,000. That won't allow us to buy it. So go back into forward slash kit. We're going to confirm. So obviously click one of the green panels. And there we go. We have just bought kit coal. So if we right click any of these kits, it's going to preview what they look like. And by default, you're going to have kit iron, kit diamond. And then if we go ahead and do forward slash kit help again, most of these commands you can actually do in the GUI, such as kit claim or click preview then another useful command is forward slash kit list to see all of the kits available and then we can do forward slash kit delete cull if you want to get rid of it and then forward slash kit reload to reload anything you've changed in the config file but that's it in game let's go ahead and check out the config files and see what we can change in there so here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are three files let's go into the config.yml first of all so to start with we've got the messages and the prefix so you don't really need to edit this at all but obviously you could if you wanted to scroll down to the bottom we've got a small config section so we've got the inventory size of the kit gui do you want to be able to kit preview yes or no and down at the bottom we've got black stained glass in all of the different corners so you could get rid of that if you wanted to so if we go back and look at the kit stop ymails this is just going to save all of the data for the kits you create so obviously the item the name the law display item etc and the slot it's in go back and then the players.yml is empty so you don't need to edit that at all if we head over to the spigot page you can see it's updated to the latest version of minecraft there are loads of bits of information on here and it's a really fantastic plugin here are your permissions and various screenshots and if you need any help with the plugin contact the developer if you have any issues but if you want a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time